I had a low-grade kidney infection when I was little, and in spite of frequent trips to the doctor, they didn't diagnose it for three years. Subsequently, I had a kidney removed. I got second place in a sonnet writing contest. I've written 50,000 words in one month. I was a youth pastor. And I miss it. Every day. I lived in Japan for two and a half years. And I hated every second of it. I have never purposefully dyed or colored my hair. It's red. It's always been red. It will always be red. Ginger's forever. In high school, I had a friend get a boy's number for me, only to be so nervous calling him that I forgot his name. I once went eight years without drinking soda. I went to Perkins every Friday night for six months, gained 16 pounds, and found myself on a first name basis with the entire wait staff because of one waiter that I thought looked like Ira Glass. I have owned two station wagons and I feel they were vastly superior to my current Saturn even though they were highly problematic. I went over a year once without eating Chinese food. I'm still not sure why. I just didn't want it. In elementary school, I beat up a boy for reading a love note out loud that I wrote him. I drew blood. Mm. I once had a 45 minute conversation with a Marine on a balcony in St. Louis before he was headed off to Iraq. We talked about our various USO experiences seeing as I was a military kid and he was in the military. I hope he's doing all right. It was a good night. It was really fantastic. I once won a swing dancing contest and beat out my sister who's been dancing 10 years to my four. I could brag, but really, I just had a good partner. I've been swing dancing every Friday night with five exceptions in the last five years. I once called Kevin Costner at home. I didn't start drinking until I was 25, which made it really easy to be responsible because most alcoholic beverages taste like turpentine. I've been to London twice and third time will be the charm. I've taken Piano, guitar, clarinet, and bass lessons. And I haven't kept any of them up to uh, actually be able to play any of those instruments. But I learned the ukulele on my own and that's going okay. According to my sister, my first kiss was to a boy when I was like eight behind the stand-up piano in the brown room at church. I don't remember it. I cried when the old tire fort was taken down at church when I was 20. I had a lot of great memories on that tire fort. It was awesome. I met my brother-in-law before my sister did and I knew instantly that he would be her husband. They'll be celebrating their ninth anniversary this year. I don't recommend doing this, but I kind of went from third grade to ninth grade without ever doing my homework. In retrospect, not the brightest I've ever been about anything. I have a collection of over a thousand postcards and I've only ever used eight of them, which were all duplicates. I'm not going to tell you why. I have listened to more Mars Hill Church podcast sermons than I've sat through sermons by a pastor at one of the churches I interned and or worked at before. 
I've read the Bible through the entire way more than five times. I once hit a boy in the back of the head with a glass bottle thinking that it would shatter like in those old western movies, only it didn't. And I ran the entire way home. I have a collection of nearly 1,000 CDs. God, that's a lot of money. I once went to Chicago for two days with $40 in my pocket, $24 was spent on the aquarium, and the hostel was $10 more than they said they were going to be. So really, I survived the weekend on a whole $6. I once played an open mic night. I was once given $120 by a mysterious benefactor who wanted me to continue with my music. I then bought a keyboard that I never learned to play properly. I'm sorry. From August 2001 to August 2002, I wrote a haiku a day. In this notebook. Yeah. 365. Haiku! I have sold a painting. I learned to drive during a blizzard. My mom and dad handed me the keys and told me to take the wheel. I cried the entire way home. But I made it! I assisted one of my best friends in recognizing that the guy I liked was in love with her. On more than one occasion. And once they even got married. Ugh. I can still do the splits. But I'm not going to show you. Because it's kind of tacky. I once read The Bell Jar. And lived to tell about it. I have broken one bone in my entire life, and it's one of these. I wore braces for four years. I was art editor for our school's creative writing magazine. I've seen the Ozarks in the fall, and there's nothing like it. I've been in love twice, and neither time was it requited. I've written through 20 journals and five blogs. I asked my first boyfriend out in sixth grade. It was such an uneventful coupling that I forgot, and like three weeks later, I asked him out again, and he said, Weren't we already going out? Sixth grade was a weird time for me. <sighs> Score. I was once a nun. In a musical. I once sat in Village Inn for two hours with a woman I didn't know, trying to help her figure out what she was going to do in order to leave her abusive husband. I've watched a meteor shower. I once did a Christmas performance dressed as a reindeer in a Garth Brooks t-shirt singing a country version of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. It was caught on tape. But I'm pretty sure no one's ever gonna find where that tape is. I got myself fired on purpose once. Please don't tell my parents. I've broken so many boys' hearts on the internet.